the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 89, verse 1 to 2. Psalm 89, verse 1 to 2. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shall thou establish in the very heavens. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. Proverbs 28, 13 says, 
Whoever conceals their sin does not prosper. But the one who confesses and renounces their finds mercy. Let's begin to ask for the mercy of God this morning. Father, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. In any way that we have sinned, O oh Lord, and we have come short of your glory. Father, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The month of May has been declared by our Father and the Lord, Pastor Wally Olagi, as the month of great mercy. Let's begin to ask for mercy. According to the word of God, in Psalm 145, verse 8. Let's begin to ask for mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your word says you will have mercy upon those that you have mercy on. Upon those that you are going to have mercy on. This is this remaining um, hours in this month, oh Lord. Father, count us worthy. Father, have mercy. Let your mercy speak for us. Your mercy speak for us. Let your mercy speak for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have mercy upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have asked for mercy. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we have asked for mercy. Amen. Hebrews 10, 19 says, Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus. Say, I enter the most holy place by the blood of the Lamb. I enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon yourself, upon your spirit, upon your soul, upon your body right now. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my spirit, soul, and body. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus speak better things in my life today. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus upon the service this morning. We plead the blood of Jesus. 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 We plead the blood of Jesus upon this environment. Upon ourselves, upon the environment you are right now, begin to plead the blood of Jesus. That environment that you are right now, soak it in the pool of the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus for cleansing, for sanctification, for purification. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus prevail over every walk of darkness this morning. Let the walk of Jesus prevail over every walk of darkness this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, we draw the blood of Jesus round about us and our family members. In the mighty name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Amen. Isaiah 64 verse 1 says, Oh, that thou will read the heavens, that thou will come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. We are going to declare open heavens this morning. Let's raise our hands to the heavens and say, Oh, Lord, rend the heavens open upon our service this morning. In the name of Jesus, Father, rend the heavens open upon our deliverance service, upon our service, upon this service this morning. Let the heavens be open. We decree and we declare open heavens upon our service this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to decree and declare open heavens. Heavens of deliverance, heavens of breakthrough, Heaven of salvation, heaven of testimonies, heaven of answered prayer. Open upon us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Open upon our service this morning. Let the heavens open. Father, rend the heavens open for us. Father, rend the heavens open for us. Upon our service this morning. Oh Lord, rend the heavens open. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heavens of testimonies, heavens of answered prayers, heavens of open heavens, heavens of answered prayers, heavens of salvation. Let it be open to us this morning. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Spirit of God, we welcome you. Almighty God, we welcome you. Spirit of peace, we welcome you. Almighty God, we welcome you. We welcome you, we welcome you. Almighty God, we welcome you. We welcome you, we welcome you. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Begin to welcome the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will welcome you this morning. Come and take over this morning's service. In the mighty name of Jesus, all that we shall do today will be according to the Spirit of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit rule and reign in this morning's service. In the mighty name of Jesus, Almighty God, we welcome you. We welcome you into our service today. Take over. Take charge. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, take over. Holy Spirit, take charge. In the mighty name of Jesus, in 
Jesus precious name we are praying. I pray for everyone that we shall not pray in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. That which we desire the Lord be grant us for us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Set to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We give thanks, O God, with a grateful heart. We give thanks to you, the Holy One. We give thanks to you because you have given us Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to die for our sins, to make appreciation for our, for our sins, to give us a new life, to give us the benefit of salvation. To you be all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for the last day in the month of May. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you for April. Thank you for the month of May. Thank you because, Lord, we are crossing over to the sixth month, into the half of the year. We give you praise and give you honor for the oil of preservation upon our lives. We say thank you, Father. We say thank you, Father. We worship you. We exalt your holy name. Be thou exalted, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be thou exalted, O God. In the name of Jesus. In today's service, O Lord, have your way. In the name of Jesus. Glorify yourself. Glorify yourself. Glorify yourself. In the name of Jesus. Lord, magnify yourself in our midst. In the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone watching online right now that the Lord will touch you where you are. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will do that which He alone can do in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, touch your people. Save the unsaved. In the name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Less of me. More of Christ. I surrender my faculties unto you, Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that you will take over. Take over, Lord. Speak to your people. In the name of Jesus. Speak to your people. Cause them to hear you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let our spirits open up to the word of God this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Set to. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 10 and verse 27. Mark chapter 10 and verse 27. Upon them, Jesus looking upon them said, With men it may be impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things shall be possible. All things shall be possible. Psalm 102 and verse 13. Psalm 102 and verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon my Zion, for the time to favor her, yea, the set time is now. The set time is now. The set time is now. I declare upon you where you are right now that if your destiny has been hindered in any way, today you are breaking loose. You are breaking forth. You are breaking through. You are breaking loose. You are breaking forth. You are breaking through. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everyone in the pits or the valley of prison of impossibility. You are coming out of that pit. You are coming out of that prison. In the name of Jesus, anyone in the warehouse, your destiny has been placed in the warehouse of impossibility. Let that warehouse burn by fire. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out of that warehouse of impossibility. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out of that warehouse today. In the name of Jesus, anyone who has been held in a tight corner of impossibility, your destiny has been held in a tight corner of impossibility. You are coming out today. In the name of Jesus, today marks your release. In the mighty name of Jesus, today marks your release. In the mighty name of Jesus, if your feet has been caught in the net of impossibility, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, let your you know, let let your feet escape out of the snare of the Father. Let that net burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, let that net burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone that has been roped. Every, or let me say, every rope, every chain of impossibility, tie you down to where you don't belong. Let that chain break by fire. Let that rope burn to ashes. Let that chain break by fire. Let that rope burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any cord, any cable, tie you down to the place of impossibility, to a place you don't belong. Every cord, every cable of impossibility. Tying your destiny down to where it does not belong. I pray, let that cause be broken. Amen. Let that cause be broken. Amen. Let that cause be broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If there's any installation of impossibility from your foundation, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, let that impossibility be turned around. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let it be turned around. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every mountain of impossibility standing before you, I command them to be removed Amen. now and ask to the sea. Amen. Let them be removed Amen. and ask to the sea. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Any prophecy, any prediction, any pronouncement of impossibility 
that has trained you from the day you were born to this very microsecond. Let that pronouncement, that prophecy, be you know, from your foundation concerning your work and your life. Let it be cast by the blood of Jesus. Be cast by the blood of Jesus. Be cast by the blood of Jesus. Be cast by, by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every negative dream of impossibility that you have had, every repeating negative dream of impossibility that you have had up to this very moment, let that dream be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Let that dream be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Let that dream be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. I pray for someone and I want a big amen to this. Every arrow of impossibility, fire into your life, fire into your destiny. Let that arrow come out and backfire to send up in the name of Jesus. Let that arrow come out. And back out to send up in the name of Jesus. Every hour of impossibility, fire into your work, fire into your welfare, fire into your well being, into the work of your hands, into your business. Let that arrow jump out and back fire, jump out and back fire, jump out and back fire in the name of Jesus. Any gang of impossibility against your rising up, against your work, against your miracle, let that gang of scatter by fire, let it scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, fire. in the name of Jesus. Any power from your father's house, from your mother's house, from your environment, from your land of nativity, bring a ready incantation, ready postponement of your appointments with destiny. I pray in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, let that power be arrested. In the name of Jesus, let that power be arrested. In the name of Jesus, let that power be arrested. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name, set to praise the Lord. Shall we take our hymn? In eight two nine. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. La 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 la
Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord, I want to welcome you to church this morning. Happy Sunday to everyone. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We want to thank God for this wonderful day that He has made. We rejoice and we are glad in it. It's a wonderful day indeed because the Lord has made us to see the end of the month of May. People, a lot of people will start the year together. Ah, no more. We are alive not because we are smart, not because we know how to do it, not because we know how to keep safe, but because the Lord preserved us to Him alone be all the glory in the name of Jesus. Blessed be His holy name in Jesus' mighty name. I've got good goodness for everyone this morning. Very soon we're going to my next Sunday, by God's grace. We're resuming back fully in church. Hallelujah. We're resuming back fully next Sunday. Praise Master Jesus. And it's here in Texas, uh, things are being relaxed a bit. So we're coming out. We're coming out to enjoy the sun. Praise God. Lockdown is over by God's grace. Praise Master Jesus. So we're resuming fully in church. So get ready to come to church. Physically, <laughs> although we'll still be streaming, <laughs> praise God. Some people are saying, Oh, yeah, we'll still be streaming, but you must be in church. There's nothing like physical fellowship. We need to hug each other, you know, have fun, and to, you know, enjoy one another's fellowship. That was it. Do not forsake your assembly together. Praise God. Alleluia. Praise Master Alleluia. Jesus. Alleluia. So we're we'll moving fully back to church next Sunday to the glory of God. And God alone shall be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. I have one other announcement to make on this this Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. Uh, our, our Father and the Lord God's servant is going to be ministering on the platform of Clanbury Academy Houston Texas. He's going to be ministering for one hour live and direct. Please join us. On Wednesday, don't miss it. It's going to be a wonderful, one solid hour of fatherly grace and blessings in the name of Jesus. It's going to be one hour of prophetic releases, and your portion will be allotted to you Amen. in the name of Jesus. You will not miss your Amen. you know the time in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, this morning we're dealing with breaking new grounds. Breaking new grounds. Breaking new grounds. Psalm 32 and verse 8. Psalm 32 and verse 8 says, The Lord will instruct me Amen. and guide me Amen. with his eyes and Amen. teach me in the ways that I should go in the name of Jesus. You are going to say that to yourself to hot and Say, the Lord will instruct me and teach me and guide me with his eyes and, guide, and, teach, me with, you know, and teach me in the way that I should go in the name of Jesus. The Lord will instruct me, guide me with his eyes, and teach me the way that I should go in the name of Jesus. Say a big amen. amen. Say a big amen. amen. Praise God. You see, beloved, we're living in a world of abundant opportunities. We live in a world of abundant opportunities. Many today are just toiling and toiling and toiling because they can't see the opportunities that surround them. And they're not achieving anything because of the inability to see or to understand the opportunities that surround them. I pray for you this morning that the Lord will reveal to you the resources and opportunities around you in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A lot of people have been beclouded with all the negativity in the news media. And you know, all the news of gloom and doom. And you are allowing that to becloud you and you begin to feel as if there's no hope. Oh, there's no future. No. Your future and your hope is in Christ. The thoughts I think towards you are thoughts of good, thought not of evil, to bring you to an expected end, to give you a hope and a future. Say, say hallelujah, somebody. Shout hallelujah, somebody. You see, enough of place called freedom in the things of life. You are an original, you are an original creation of the Almighty God. You are an original, you are a peculiar person, you have a purpose. You have a purpose. There's no one like you. There are no two people that are the same on the face of this earth. Identical twins, no matter how identical they are, they are different. They have different fingerprints. They have different voice prints. So it's, you know, there's nobody exactly like you on the face of this earth. So what made you for a purpose? 
and they have put in you some virtues. In giving you a glory that must manifest. You will not go to the grave with your glory Amen. in the name of Jesus. You will not die with your glory. You will not die with your potential Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is time for the church to wake up. Honestly, it is time for us to wake up and begin to occupy for the master. Look at what the word of the Lord says in Luke chapter 19 and verse 13. Luke chapter 19 and verse 13. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds, and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Occupy till I come. It is time for us to begin, we as Christians all over the globe, all over the world, all over the galaxy, to begin to create jobs, to begin to buy franchises, to begin to build you know, of hotels, manufacturing companies, industries, food chains, and so on and so forth. We need to go into the, you know, different industries, the aviation industry, the you know uh, politics, the IT. We need to begin to you know occupy the world of fashion, in the world of entertainment, in the world of music. Amen. In the in the name of Jesus Christ Nazareth, we shall occupy. Amen. We shall occupy to the master comes. We need to go into every sphere of life and occupy for the master, and not leave things for the devil to use his own children to dominate us. I was very very happy. You know, my wife was told me that uh, you know there's something called pure face. I was surprised, but I was gladly surprised. Pure face, it's a, you know, it, you know uh, instead of next face. This is called pure face. Why is it pure? Because the movies on there, you know, you know that they have, have movies devoid of you know, violence, uh, vulgar language, sex, and all that. No, the Christian movies that will edify you, that will encourage you. As you know, I want to be, please go, go on that. Pure face, so that you have good entertainment. Entertainment can be wonderful if it is done properly. Now, for you, a child of God, I would say we should guard our hearts with all diligence. So, which means we must guard against the things we watch, the things we hear. So, having a, a, a good source of, of movies is a wonderful thing, which means that some Christians are occupying for the Lord in that area of entertainment. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. There's something wrong if we have uh, a Christian version of Disney World. Where we will have good characters to look at, where our children will learn good things from, and not learn the other side. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we need we need to occupy in every area. God said, occupy till I come. Occupy till I come. In the area of fashion, let's go there and occupy. Let's have our own clothes line. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's have our own uh, uh, cosmetic line. The devil is on rampage. The devil is on rampage. You know, some years ago I came to Indianapolis and I went into a shop, bought some clothes. I mean, like, those are these lovely clothes on a rack, you know, uh, for kids. I was about to go to the counter to pay when I just, you know, picked up one of them and took the data. It said, faded glory. I was, I was, I was mad. Faded glory. Why would I wear a label called faded glory when I want my own kids? Uh, you know, the glory of my heart will shine. But I can't do that. So we, you and I need to go, we need, those of you into fashion, you need to occupy. Let the Lord give you ideas of what to do. Let the Lord give you ideas of design to come up with. Praise God. Praise God. That's what it means to occupy till it comes. Occupy till it comes. In the area of aviation, somebody needs to start doing airlines. Praise God. Let's occupy till it comes. You see, God is a custodian of profound ideas and strategies. God is the author and the finisher of profound ideas and strategies. We, we've been told several times that ideas rule the world, and that is true. Ideas of creative thinking, ideas of strategic management. We see those ideas this morning. We see those ideas this morning. We see those ideas this morning. In the name of Jesus. Ideas of innovative thinking. Innovative thinking. If we spend time with the Lord in His presence on retreat, that has to just close up, shut down. And just talk to God. Let Him speak to you and minister to you. He will minister to you in dreams, in different ways, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ideas of mind blowing inventions, mind blowing inventions, the Lord will give unto you in the name of Amen. Jesus. We read of the story of Joseph in the land of Egypt in Genesis chapter 41. Genesis 41 from verse 1 down. God gave Joseph one gift. It was the gift of the interpretation of dreams. That was the gift he had. Joseph was not as educated as the Egyptians. The Egyptians were very early educated. 
You know, they are God already going to school of engineering, building, building huge structures, building the pyramids. They were vast in engineering. Joseph wasn't as educated as they were. But God gave Joseph a wisdom beyond the knowledge of the Egyptians. The Lord will give you wisdom in the name of Jesus. Wisdom above your peers. The Lord will give unto you in the name of Jesus. God gave Joseph when he interpreted the dream to Pharaoh. Pharaoh said, well, in as much as God has revealed those things to you, who else shall we choose to, you know, to spare him this assignment and to preserve our lives other than you? And Pharaoh made him the prime minister in a strange land. You will rule in the same Amen. land. In the name of Jesus, you will rule in the same land. When people have said it is impossible for a non-indigent or a you know or someone born here to rule, you will rule. In the name of Jesus, you will rule. You will rule and reign. In the name of Jesus, I guess beyond the wisdom of your enemies. God will give to you. In the name of Jesus, God will give them to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pharaoh said, You take over this plan. Because Jesus said to him, Look, seven years of plenty. Pick someone that can manage the resources so that we'll be able to survive the seven years of famine. And Pharaoh said, you go ahead and do it. In everything in this kingdom, I only will be above you. Every other person will be below, you know, you know, will be under your command. And he gave him his rope, gave him his title, gave him the ring of authority, the seal of authority. Receive the seal of authority Amen. today in the name of Jesus. In your sphere of operation, receive the symbol of authority. Receive the seal of authority to occupy for the master. In the name of Jesus. Joseph received ideas from God on a preservation of agricultural products, trade by barter system, cash, cash flow during farming. He designed all the things. Why? God gave him the idea. He knew, you know, he understood how to, uh, you know, he understood money and food products management. He was able to manage these resources, manage their food supply. An uncommon idea. This gave him so much, you know, elevated his status, and everybody came to him. So much so that even when the Egyptians went to Pharaoh and said, Master, we are hungry. He told them, I don't, I don't know anything. Don't come to me. Everybody go and meet Joseph. He pointed them to Joseph. I want to pray a prayer for you. Problems that only you can solve in your environment, in your, in, you know, in your family, in your environment, in your place of work. Problems that only you can solve that will bring you up to the open. Let God create those problems. Create those problems. Create those challenges in the name of Jesus. Problems that only you can solve, that God will give you wisdom to solve above your peers. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Let God create those challenges. Let God create those challenges in the name of Jesus. Whereas when you were doing our session on Wednesday or Friday, I talked about Jephthah. Jephthah was given out of his father's house. They called him the son of Abalos. Well, that was true. His mother was not married to their father. You know, like that and that. And they said, look, my friend, you will not inherit anything in this house. Leave now. And so he had to run away from home. But by and by, over the period of time, there arose a problem. Because Jephthah was a mighty man of value. He was a fighter, he was a warrior. So when they came on that attack, there was somebody to leave them. They had to go and look for him. They had to go and beg him. Say, Jephthah, please. Come and help us. He looked at them and said, But you said I am the son of a harlot. He said, eh, Who said so? No, we 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 don't remember saying so. He said, But you said so. He said, Yeah, okay, we are sorry for saying so. Please come and lead us. That was a problem, a challenge that only he could solve. I pray for you. The challenges that will bring your destiny out to the open. The challenges and problems that will make your glory shine. Let the Lord create them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let the Lord create them. In the mighty name of Jesus. You and I need to look for, you know, begin to look around you for opportunities. Opportunities are found everywhere. Think about opportunities. Wherever there are gaps, there are opportunities. Some years ago, uh, in a country called Nigeria, West Africa, there was no mobile telephone system. A new government came in at that time, around 1999, and began to work on it. And communication companies came in and took advantage of that gap that existed. And they make, and they're still making huge profits. Why? There was an opportunity. They came in, 
filled it, took advantage of the opportunity, and they made it be. They made it be. I pray for you. Let the Lord open your eyes to the opportunities around you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Lord open your eyes to the opportunities around you in the name of Jesus. What an opportunity! What an opportunity! An opportunity can be found as a set of circumstances that makes it possible for you to do something. An opportunity can be defined as an appropriate or favorable time or, a, or, or occasion or a situation or condition favorable to attaining a goal, a good position, a chance, or a prospect for advancement or success. That's what an opportunity is. An opportunity is simply a chance. It's a chance given to you to exhibit your talents, exhibit your skills, and to obtain the prize. That's what an opportunity is. God can, you know, catapult your life from ordinary to extraordinary with just one opportunity. Just one opportunity. Esther had just one opportunity. There was vacancy for the position of a queen. And her uncle, Mordecai, encouraged her, why don't you apply for this thing? She said, but I'm not from this place. I don't qualify. He encouraged her. I pray that encouragers that will encourage you in the right direction. Let the Lord give them to you. Amen. The people that will encourage your destiny, encourage your ego, you know, encourage you to develop your skills and your talents. Let the Lord give you encouragers. Let the Lord give you encouragers Amen. in the name of Jesus. When you have been discouraged before, let the Lord turn it around for you to be encouraged. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Esther got that opportunity. And she became a queen. She was an orphan, a, you know, an orphan in captivity in a foreign land. But God made a way. That opportunity came. She seized it, and she became a queen in a foreign land. And may I remind you that the land of Persia, you know, the land of Persia was a superpower of that time. It's like saying uh, America today or Russia. So that was how it was. So she was a queen in a powerful nation. The same thing happened to Joseph. Joseph had that opportunity of interpreting the dream for Pharaoh. And that opportunity gave rise to his rising to the position of a prime minister in a foreign land. I pray for you. I see you rising up. Amen. Jesus, I, see Amen. Up. I see you rising up. I see you rising up. I see you rising up. I see your destiny is shining. I see your glory is shining. I see six opportunities that come your way in the name of Jesus. Amen. And opportunities can also deliver you from danger. Genesis chapter 21. Verses 14 to 19. Genesis 41. Genesis 21. 14 to 19. Adai and Ishmael were driven out of the house by Abraham and Sarah. After so many years of service, she was Adai was given a loaf of bread and a bottle of water. That was her gratuity and pension. A loaf of bread and a bottle of water. And they left. But along the way, the food finished, the water got drained, and the boy was about to die, and she left him and began to cry. And the Lord said, in verse 17, And God heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of God called to Adai. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad drink, and they were preserved. Look at the transformation, from a bottle of water to a well of water. A bottle of water to a well of water. May I say this that in those days, a well to us today, a well may not mean anything. In those days, a well of water in the desert was, you know, was the equivalent of uh, you know, like an oil well, because that was the only source of water for drinking, for cooking, for baking, for agriculture, for everything they did. A well was a gold mine. So God gave her, God opened her eyes to see a well when the bottle of water had filled. I pray for you. Opportunities that are bound close to you that you have not seen before now. Let the Lord open your eyes to see them. Let the Lord open your eyes to see them. Let the Lord open your eyes to see them. In the name of Jesus. An opportunity can make you a legend and you become a legacy for a generation. An opportunity can make you a legend and you become a legacy for a generation. There's a company called Amazon. Everybody knows Amazon. Owned by Jeff Bezos. He's the richest man in the world today. And according to the latest reports, he's on course to be the first trillionaire. Why? This pandemic now, when everybody is crying, jobs are being lost, and all that, Amazon is making a kill. Why? Because people can no longer go out. So they depend on delivery. And Amazon does exactly that. So they capitalize on this lockdown 
and they have made you know that opportunity of the lockdown has made them billions and billions and billions of dollars. I was reading you know, like, uh, you know, some days ago, one airline simply shifted, I don't want to mention the name of the airline, simply locked onto Amazon and was being instead of carrying passengers because no more passengers, nobody was traveling. They simply locked onto Amazon, signed a contract of delivery with them. So they changed all their planes into cargo, into delivery for Amazon, and they're making money. So instead of waiting for government bailouts, they seize that opportunity. I pray for you. Opportunities that you know that will keep you afloat, that will keep you above every other person. People are saying there's a casting down. You will say there's a lifting up. When they say there's a casting down, you will say there's a lifting up. Let the Lord open your eyes today. Let the Lord open your eyes today. Let the Lord open your eyes today. In the name of Jesus. Amazon started in 1994 and it went public in 1995. It started in the garage of a rented, his rented apartment. It started, I saw, uh, the, you know, the picture online. It started with one very old table, one old chair, one desktop, you know those desktop in those days, one huge, you know, heating on the desk. He didn't have much money. He, he, he used some uh, plain paper, black paper with marker and wrote Amazon.com and put it on the wall of the garage. There was no air conditioning. That was where he started from. Some people thought he was stupid. Some people thought, what is that doing? Mean? But today, here we are. He is the richest man in the world. An idea, an idea. What was the idea he had? He, he just decided that, why, why, don't, you know, why don't I do something, you know, let people have access to books online. It was all about books, that was you know, what he thought. Just books, you know, like a library book and go online, you know, and buy books and read. That was all he started from. But today, there is nothing you cannot buy on Amazon except human beings. There is nothing you want to buy that you cannot buy except human beings on Amazon. Why? A man started with an idea. That's one idea that will have a you to the set for success. Let the Lord give you that idea. Let the Lord give you that idea. Let the Lord give you that idea. In the name of Jesus. Let the Lord give you that idea. In the name of Jesus. The idea may look stupid. It may look silly. Just stay with it. Just stay with it. There's somebody watching me online right now. You are watching this broadcast. God has spoken to you several times about starting something. Starting a business. But you are afraid. You are afraid of what if it doesn't work? You are afraid of, okay, people may laugh at me. You are afraid of supposing I fail. I pray for you this morning. Receive boldness. Amen. Receive boldness. Amen. Receive boldness. Amen. Receive boldness. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive boldness. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be strong and be courageous. Amen. Pursue that idea. Amen. In the name of Jesus, pursue that idea. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I said before, opportunities exist where there are gaps. Opportunities exist where there are gaps. There is, there's a company called Tesla that manufacture and produce batteries and produce electric cars powered by batteries. When they started, people laughed. Electric car. What is this man doing? What is this problem? But the man saw a future. He saw a future where, because, you know, there's been a lot of talk about climate change, preserving the environment, you know, uh, reducing pollution. And we thought, okay, if we change to electric cars, there will be less pollution, you know, there will be less carbon monoxide in the atmosphere. It will, you know, make our environment cleaner. So he, he began to pursue that idea, pumping a lot of money. At the beginning, there were some, you know, problems here and there, but he persevered. And today, Tesla is making billions and billions of dollars. I pray for you. That idea, that one idea that you, you have already even started, but it looks as if it may not work. It will work. Amen. In the, name of Jesus, the grace for it to work, we see that grace. 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 In the name of Jesus. We see that grace. In the name of Jesus. In 2004, Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook as a student on campus. It was not an idea. It was it started like a joke. It was just an idea of, okay, let's do something that, you know, we'll be using just him and his friends, that, you know, to communicate with ourselves, you know, on campus. And gradually, they, you know, began to expand to people from other campuses. And today, here we are today, Facebook has over a billion users globally. Something that started like a joke, started like a game. 
Today it's a global thing. It's a global thing. Young man is made a lot of money. Opportunities that are bound around you. Let the Lord open your eyes. Amen. Let the Lord open your eyes. Amen. That idea God is giving you. Listen, don't look down on don't don't you know don't feel it is too small. It is never too small. A mustard seed is very, very tiny. But when it is so, when it is so, it produces a mighty harvest. It produces a mighty tree, a mighty harvest. That idea that will blossom like the cedar in Lebanon. Receive that idea. Receive that idea. Receive that idea. In the name of Jesus. Receive that idea. In the mighty name of Jesus. Opportunities are what makes businesses to prosper. Opportunities make businesses to prosper. I pray for you. Let, your, let the Lord open your eyes Amen. today. In the name of Jesus. Let the Lord open your eyes today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Job chapter 32 and verse 8. Job 32 and verse 8. Job 32 and verse 8. But there's a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty given him understanding. There's a spirit in man. There's a spirit in man. And the inspiration of the Almighty gives them understanding, gives you understanding. Say, I receive understanding. I receive understanding. I receive understanding. In the name of Jesus, God can inspire you through the Holy Spirit to access mighty opportunities. He can instruct you in a vision. He can instruct you in a dream. He can instruct you through his word, through the Bible. You can just be reading the Bible and something just pop up to you. It can be through a dream. It can be through a counsel. It can be through something you just overheard. So, you know, God can talk to you in a very strange way, in very strange places. I've received instructions before, just, you know, just overhearing somebody talk. I wasn't the one that was being spoken to. But God spoke to me through what I heard. And I began to wonder, and, you know, and, you know, and began to expand it. Began to expand it. You know, began to expand it. So God can talk to you in different ways. Be sensitive to Him. Be sensitive to Him. Job 33, verses 15 and 16. Job 33, Job 33, 15 and 16. In a dream, in a vision of the night, where this way falleth upon men, in slumbering upon the bed, then it opened the ears of men and seals their instruction. He opens the ears of men and seals their instructions. He opens the ears of men and seals their instructions. Three major things you need from the Lord to access on private opportunities. Number one, instruction from the Lord. You need teaching by the Lord and you need guidance by the Holy Spirit. Instruction, teaching, and guidance. There are things you may need to go and learn concerning that idea that you have. Go and learn them. Don't, you know, don't be afraid. It's, it's, it's may be costly. The Lord will provide the cost. Amen. The Lord will pay the cost. Amen. You have to go and learn how to make dresses. You have to go and pay someone to teach you. The Lord, or you have, you know, or do, do it online or something. Go and learn it. Whatever knowledge you need, any knowledge that you need to acquire for that idea to blossom, the grace to go and learn that thing. Receive that grace. Amen. Receive that grace. Amen. Receive that grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive that grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When Jesus was serving labor. All of a sudden, he had a dream. He needed to prosper, and he cried to God, this man is cheating me. I have labored and labored and labored for him, and I have nothing. And God gave him an idea on how to crossbreed sheep. It was an idea in the dream, and he began to do it, and began to prosper. At the end of the day, he had more sheep. He had more livestock than his master, Laban. And Laban became envious of him. And all Laban's sons began to envy him and say, this man is taking over our father's business. It was God that gave him the idea. It was in a dream, as you see, instead of dreams of demons pursuing you, instead of dreams of snakes, I banish those dreams from you. Because I banish those dreams. Every, every dream that, that has polluted your dream monitor, let those dreams be wiped off. Let those dreams be cancelled. Let those dreams be cancelled in the name of Jesus. From today, dreams of instructions, dreams of ideas, dreams of plans, dreams of what to do. The Lord will give them to you Amen. in your dream, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ideas that you need to pursue. Let the Lord show you in the dream. Let the Lord show you in the dream. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It says uh, Psalm 22 verse 6 that, that I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. 
It means the eye of the Lord will be upon you Amen. to show you the way. Amen. When your partner makes a mistake, you say, no, don't do that one. Do it this way. Turn left. Turn right. No, stop at this junction. Wait a bit. Wait for 10 minutes. Wait for one hour. Wait for me. Or talk to this person. You begin to give instructions. Show you people to talk to, people not to talk to, people to share the idea with, people not to share the idea with. You need to know who, when, and how. Who, when, and how. I pray for you. Ideas that God has given you, you will not share them with your enemies. Yeah. Your enemies will not, yeah. not kill your ideas. They will not kill your ideas. They will not kill your ideas. The people that you will share and your idea with, and they will tell you it is impossible. You will not share to them. You will not share to them. You will not share to them. Share to them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I've been a victim of that before. Submitted proposals, ideas that I thought would work for a government. Shared with them, you know, shared with them. They told me it wasn't possible. It wasn't working. Later, they took the idea and tried to do it by themselves, and they couldn't do it. But they just used it to embezzle money, and that was it. I shared the idea with the wrong person. That will not be your portion. Amen. That will not be your portion. Amen. Amen. Of Jesus, Amen. That will not be your portion. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Numbers chapter twelve and verse six. Numbers twelve and verse six. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet amongst you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto you in a vision and will speak unto you in a dream. Proverbs 8 and verse, uh, verse 12 says, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Knowledge of witty inventions. There are some things that you and I haven't seen yet that are yet to be invented. Some things that we have not seen yet that are yet to be invented. I was watching a uh, documentary on YouTube some days ago, uh, you know, on artificial intelligence on hologram and a lady stood to demonstrate what she was saying produced a hologram of herself as she was standing she produced a hologram of herself the hologram stood just in front of her and was speaking in Japanese language she was speaking in English and everything she said in English she produced you know that hologram of a large hologram of herself dressed the same way she was dressed was speaking the same thing she said in Japanese language those are inventions, and more are still coming. The Lord will give you such inventions. Amen. He will give you such ideas Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ideas of witty inventions, knowledge of witty inventions. The Lord will give one to you, give one to our children in the name of Jesus. Our children will rule and reign in the mighty name of Jesus. I see new openings, new opportunities for you and your family in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, don't listen to the gloom and doom on the, you know, on the news media. A man, a professor in Harvard, uh, who was an advisor to the last president in America, had a meeting with the top leaders of both parties, Republican and uh, Democrats, a few days ago. And he told them, he said, we're about to see the best economy yet in this nation. What they've been thinking that, oh, this lockdown, uh, millions of jobs have been lost, and it will take, what they were saying before was that it will take years for the economy to recover. The man said no. And they were all sure. He said, Be before December, that the last quarter of this year, we'll see an economy that America has never seen before. That things will bounce back. So stop, don't listen to negative news. Things will bounce back. Even if things don't bounce back, your own will bounce back. Your own is different. Your face is different. Your life is different. You are under the economy of heaven, not the economy of man. Praise God. So don't joke with your given, don't joke with your time, your falsehoods, your offerings, your pledges, and your vows. Don't joke with them. It connects you to the economy of heaven. You are an ambassador for Christ. An ambassador does not depend on the economy of the nation where he is serving. His economy depends on the nation he is representing. Mm -hmm. You represent God, not man. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say, I'm an ambassador for Christ. I'm an ambassador for Christ. I'm an ambassador for Christ. In the name of Jesus, rise your people now and begin to pray this life. Say, Father, I thank you for the library of heavenly ideas that you are about to open to me. Father, I, Father, I thank you for the library of heavenly ideas that you are about to open unto me. Father, I thank you. I thank you. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. In the name of Jesus, say after me. Oh, say, oh Lord, release the reservoir of divine flow, of unique ideas, unique opportunities. Man, bombing opportunities. Oh Lord, my Father, release them to me. Release them to me in the name of Jesus. Release them to me in the name of Jesus. Release them to me in the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I pray for you and I pray for myself. I pray for all our children, home and abroad. That from today, let the Lord give them divine opportunities. Let the Lord give us divine opportunities in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord obey the such life into the treasures of darkness for divine opportunities to come forth into our lives in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will blow his megaphone of heaven for divine announcement, for unique opportunities and ideas in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for fresh ideas in the name of Jesus. I want someone to say a mighty amen to this. Fresh ideas, let them invade your mind. Fresh ideas shall invade your mind. Fresh ideas shall invade your mind. In the name of Jesus, as you sleep, dream of fresh ideas. Dream of fresh ideas. Dream of fresh ideas. In the name of Jesus, from today, angels will announce your glory for you for unique lifting. Angels will announce your glory for unique lifting. Angels will announce your glory for a unique lifting. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will unleash into your life a tsunami of opportunities, a tsunami of opportunities, a flood of opportunities, a flood of opportunities to wipe away all your tears, in all your years of sorrow, all your years of sorrow and shame shall be wiped away by this tsunami of opportunity that will come your way in the name of Jesus. A flood of opportunities shall invade your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray that from all your lost opportunities, receive restoration. Receive restoration. Every opportunity that you have ever lost. Since the day you were born to this very microsecond, let that be a restoration. Let that be a restoration. On all your lost opportunities, all your lost ideas, let the Lord revive them. Let the Lord restore them. Let the Lord revive them. Let the Lord restore them. In the name of Jesus. All your hijacked opportunities, all your hijacked and delayed opportunities, I pray, let them begin to spring forth, let them begin to spring forth, let them begin to spring forth, in the name of Jesus, let them begin to spring forth, in the mighty name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus wash away every man and labor of backwardness in your life, every man and labor upon your mind, preventing you from seeing goodness. Preventing you from seeing, from seeing opportunities. Let the Lord wipe them away. Let the Lord wipe them away. Let the Lord wipe them away. In the name of Jesus. I soak your mind in the pool of the blood of Jesus. I soak your mind in the pool of the blood of Jesus. I shall authority over every attack of mind blindness. Mind blindness. You will no longer be blind. Your mind will not be blind. Your mind will not be blind. In the name of Jesus, you will not lack ideas anymore. You will not lack opportunities anymore. From today, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you and I want to examine them to this. By the key of David. Let every door of promotion and favor open unto you by the key of David. Every door of favor, every door of promotion, let them open unto you. Let them open unto you. Let them open unto you. In the name of Jesus. All, all your doors of opportunity presently shut. Every door of opportunity that has been shut to you presently, that is like nothing is happening. Let those doors open. Let them open by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you a reference point. He will make you a reference point. He will make you a reference point. In the name of Jesus. A reference point for promotion. A reference point for healing. A reference point for lifting. A reference point for lifting. In the name of Jesus. People will believe your testimony as a prayer point. Ah, oh Lord, you that are it for this person. You that are for that person. Oh Lord, do it for me. Oh Lord, do it for me. Then you give your testimony. People will begin to use your testimony as a prayer point for themselves and their families. The Lord will make you a good reference point. A good reference point. A good reference point. Someone needs to say a big amen to that. A big reference point. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Angels will announce your glory. The same way Christ was announced the day he was born. Angels are, you know, appear to those shepherds in the field and say good news unto you. A savior is born in Bethlehem. Angels announce his arrival. They will announce your arrival. They will announce your arrival. In the name of Jesus, they will announce your glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you that locally and internationally, let opportunities open for you. Opportunities open for you. Locally and internationally, opportunities will open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive new openings. Receive new openings. Locally, receive new openings. Internationally, receive new openings. In the name of Jesus. I pray for all our children, all our children home and abroad, wherever they are, wherever they are, they will stand tall. They will stand out. They will stand tall. They will stand out. They will stand tall. They will stand out. In the name of Jesus. They will stand tall. They will stand out. In the name of Jesus. Like Joseph in a foreign land, he was a young man. Like Joseph in a foreign land, even when he was in Potiphar's house, serving as a slave, God so much favored him. Potiphar handed over everything into his hand in the house. It was a mighty estate. Potiphar handed over everything in his house. All the other servants were under the control of Joseph. Why? He had wisdom beyond his age. I pray for you. Wisdom beyond your age. Wisdom beyond your preparation. Wisdom beyond your expectation. Wisdom beyond your imagination. Receive the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive in the name Amen. of Jesus. Receive in the name Amen. of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord by Himself will handcuff your head, handcuff your glory to divine opportunities Amen. in the name of Jesus to new opportunities. Let the Lord anchor your destiny to new opportunities, new openings in the name of Jesus. New openings in the name of Jesus. No, Lord, let the Lord revive your blessing by fire. Every blessing that has been caged, every blessing that has been kidnapped from you, that has been captured from your hand, let the Lord revive them. Let the Lord restore them. Let the Lord revive them. Let the Lord restore them. Let the Lord revive them. Let the Lord restore them. In the name of Jesus. Every anti testimony or anti opportunity spirit working against you, let them be paralyzed by fire, let them be paralyzed by fire. Every anti testimony spirit, every anti opportunity spirit that has been telling your destiny before now, let them be arrested by fire, let them be arrested by fire, let them be arrested by fire. Them by fire. Them by fire. In the name of Jesus, every anti testimony of uh, you know, every dark power or cloud covering your opportunity and your openings. Let that cloud fade away. Amen. Let that cloud fade away. Amen. Let that cloud fade away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every dark cloud overing over your opportunities. Overing over your, your openings. That's causing people, your helps and help us to see you. Let that dark cloud fade away. Let it fade away. Let it fade away. Let it fade away. Let it fade away. In the name of Jesus. Let that cloud fade away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil campaign or put against your opportunities. Let, let those doors open by fire. Let them be nullified. Let them be nullified. Let them be nullified. Them be nullified. In the name of Jesus. Every evil campaign against your opportunities and your open doors. Let them be nullified by fire. Let them be nullified by fire. Let them be nullified by fire. In the name of Jesus. Let them be nullified by fire. In the name of Jesus. All your ordained opportunities and chances. Shall not be manipulated, they will not be captured, they will not be diverted in the name of Jesus. All your ordained opportunities and chances and openings shall not be captured, will not be altered, will not be swallowed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will not die before your open door comes. You will not die before your open door comes. You will not die before your open door comes. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you that finishing line adversaries. Finishing line adversary, people who are waiting for you just to start or about to conclude that idea, about to manifest on that issue, waiting for you to do that so that they can kill it, kill the idea or kill the person. I pray for you in the name of Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let them be arrested, let them be arrested, let them be arrested, let them be arrested and disgraced in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All your chances, internationally, spiritually, locally, financially, shall not be suffocated, shall not be blocked. In the name of Jesus, shall not be suffocated, shall not be blocked. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your heaven of ideas open by fire. Let your heaven of ideas open by fire. Let your open by fire. In the name of Jesus, heaven of new opportunities open by fire. In the name of Jesus. Let the heaven of new opportunities open by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will lift up your voice and sing this song. Lifted, I am lifted. I am lifted by the word. I was in my sorrow. It 
to the presence of the Lord. I am lifted, lifted. I am lifted. I am lifted by the word. Above sin and sorrow, into the presence of the Lord. I am lifted, lifted. Medical school, 
Now he's a doctor. He's practicing. Only for him to be killed prematurely. Any power waiting for you, you know, for you to labor by your children. And at the point where you should not find reaping the reward of your labor, that child is killed. I pray for you. Any spirit on assignment to kill at the end of your breakthrough, let that spirit be arrested. Be arrested by fire. Be arrested by fire. Be arrested by fire. Be arrested by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will not be killed. You will not die before your time. Your parents will not be killed. Your body will not die suddenly. Your star will not set suddenly. Your star will not fizzle out. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be to my brother, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Thank you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Have you been blessed? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. God bless you. Before we take our offering, I just want to pray for those. If you are not born again, you are watching this broadcast, you are not born again. What that simply means is that you have never at any time believed in your heart, confessed with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. You have never at any time surrendered your life to Christ to take over, to take over and to lead you, for you to be a child of God. I want to pray this prayer with me because it's the most important decision you will ever, ever, ever make in your life. It's the most important decision. I place before you life and death. Choose life that you may live. Choose life that you may live. I want to pray with you. Just say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I confess that I'm a sinner. I repent of my sin. Forgive me. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Take over my life. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are Lord. Lord Jesus, forgive me. Take me up. Wash me clean. Purify me. Let me serve you with all the, for the rest of my life. Give me a new list of life. Write my name in your book of life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. So shall it be. I pray for you that you will be an evangelist of the Lord Amen. in the name of Jesus. Through you, many will come to know Christ in the name of Jesus. Your life will be a testimony. The Lord will take you up. He will cause you. He will make you. Just follow me and I will make you. He's not a user. He's a maker. The Lord will make you. He will make you a fish out of men. He will make you. He will make you a testimony in your family and your environment in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. Shall we give our office unto the Lord where you are? You can give one line. Give unto the Lord online. Like I said earlier, you connect with the economy of heaven through your giving. Connect with the economy of heaven. You are an ambassador for Christ. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. Say, we are ambassadors for Christ. We are ambassadors for Christ. Go and go on and know what an ambassador is and how an ambassador operates. And we need to operate that way. An ambassador is connected to the supply of the country he represents, not the country in which he's working. Praise God. So connect to the Lord. You connect with the, the, the country that sends you. Operates kingdom principles of giving. Give your pay your tithe. Give your offering. Give your you know make vows to the Lord from the bottom of your heart willingly. Give willingly. If it's not willingly, it's of no use. Forget it. It has to be willing. An offering is done willingly. As the man proposes in his heart, so let him give. You give. You give according to what the Lord has provided for you. Praise God. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We exalt your holy name. We bless your holy name, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the seed to sow. Thank you for bread to eat. Thank you for provision. Thank you, Lord, because you will multiply our seed soul today. In the name of Jesus, you will multiply our seed soul. For those who are giving, paying their tithe online right now, Lord, I pray that Lord, you will you know, reveal the temporal for their sin. Open the windows of heaven, windows of opportunity, windows of ideas, and pour them down ideas that they will not be able to contain or even imagine. In the name of Jesus, every temporal is revealed for your sin as you pay your tithe. Your tithe is the ten percent of your income or your profit on that business. As you pay your tithe, the devourer in any area of your life, in your health, in your marriage, in your business, the devourer is there by rebuke for your sake. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, say so. Praise the Lord. Shall we share the grace together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. And the spirit of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. 
Amen. Shall we sing the clap anthem? Oh God of clap, we praise. Oh God of clap, we praise. Your holy name be Jesus. God bless you. I see you on top.